Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon tank and if you follow along with my videos you'll know that I have a snakeskin gourami you can see down there on the bottom right hand corner has an infected swim bladder and is all bloated up with air so I think today I'm going to get in there and pull him out and we're going to try a little minor surgery I'm going to try taking a syringe and poking a hole in his swim bladder and letting some of that air out and seeing if we can't get him fixed up and better now I don't have any antibiotics or anything to give him once we've treated him so he is going to have a little minor open wound in his side uh, I'll probably get in here and do a water change and that'll help reduce any kind of uh, bacterial infection that he might be subject to or anything like that so let me get started I think we're just going to probably put him in a five gallon bucket and then we'll do the process that way and I'll see what I can do about getting the camera set up or maybe I'll just strap my head cam on and we'll do our best to get the video of it but we're gonna give it a shot and we'll see what happens so give me a minute we'll see where we go from here alright everybody I gotta say for a fish that can't swim he sure did a good job avoiding being caught now unfortunately we've got glare on the water so I'm gonna try to do this where we can see it first I gotta get a hold of him in a way that he's gonna be secure Just basically have to puncture a hole into his bladder. You see all the air bubbles coming out? I hope they were coming out on video. So we just squeezed a bunch of little air bubbles out of his side. Definitely got all the air bubbles out of him. He's now got the needle out of him. We are now going to take him back to the tank, and that should be the end of his ordeal. So sit tight and we'll see him in the tank. All right, everybody, here we are back at the tank, and I don't know if I've done more harm than good. He spent a few minutes swimming around the tank like he was sinking it was the opposite of what we've been seeing where he was trying to get to the bottom and his tail end was going up uh, and now trying to get him you can see his face sticking out just a little bit back there he's lying on his side on the bottom now he sank like a stone and is now just lying on the bottom like he's gasping for breath so I don't know if I squeezed too much air out was I supposed to leave some in uh, the few videos I watched this morning basically just showed people doing exactly what I just did here we can try to look in the top the glares on the water but we can kind of see him back there see if I can zoom in a little you sort of see him down on the bottom there now if you can see right where that fish's head is that fish just swam by you see that bright mark on the side that's where I punctured the hole and unfortunately I didn't do a very good job I didn't have a very sharp hypodermic I actually had a blunt hypodermic that I sharpened to myself and I did the best I could but it still made some scrapes and scratches on the way in I don't think that would be enough to impact the fish the way we're seeing it um, but that does give me concern for secondary infections since I put such a big scrape and scratch on the uh, animal's skin and here now I'm looking at the um, my synodontist who scuffled a little bit with the snake skin when they were when I was trying to catch the snake skin the synodontist actually has a few little scratches and scrapes down its side so I don't know if I just made a bad situation worse or what but I will certainly keep you updated on this garami I think I just killed the garami but you know it was dying anyway and it was dying a slow suffering death so I did what I could hopefully I improved the situation Maybe after it lies back there and recovers for a while, it'll sort of get back up on its uh, feet, so to speak, or perhaps get back up on its fins. I don't know. But, like I said, something had to be done. So, I tried. Can't blame me for that. And, uh, you know, we'll see where we go from here. So, make sure you're subscribed. And you won't miss any updates. We'll find out whether or not I just killed this fish or I saved its life. Because I just did one or the other. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget, this one is my 125-gallon tank. And I will see you real soon in the next one.